Well hello guys, it's Dieselworks123 here and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new 2017 Thomas Minis Steelworks Stunt Set. This looks like a really cool set. Um, the boxing looks great. I love the box on this. You get an exclusive Thomas with this set. Very nice, very nice. It looks so very nice. And there's the back of the box. Got all these minis down here. Yes. Now, when I first bought this set, I did think there was something up with it. And it wasn't until I bought it home that I realized it's exactly the same as the set here. The twist and turn stunt sets, it's, I'm pretty sure it is exactly the same as that. But we will reserve judgment until we get this out of the box. Coming in for an unboxing shot now, there is some sticky tape here, or sellotape, whatever you want to call it, duct tape, some on the bottom. Tilt the camera up, that might help. Okay, so Ah oh, yep, it looks like it's gonna be the same thing. Oh, oh. is that everything? That is everything. So got some rather interesting parts here, lots of colours. I'm liking this, I'm liking this a lot. Okay, so before we get into the build of the play set, let's have a quick look at the instructions. Steelwork stunt set, that is what's included. Label placement, we'll have a look at them in a minute. And it's very clearly laid out. And then there's the back on how to play. And then there was a sticker sheet. And I have a feeling this is based around Journey Beyond Sodor because, well, not only is it called the Steelworks Sunset, um, we've got Minis variants of Frankie, Hurricane, and, where it, and Merlin. There is also James and Thomas. That Thomas does come in the set, with, but not with a surprised face, so yeah. Bit disappointing there, but those are the stickers. I need to put them on, and I will see you guys when the set is built up. Okay, I have built up the Thomas Mini Steelworks stunt set, and it is literally the same as that. Look all around them. They are exactly the same. But I did have a play with both of them and found something really interesting out. So here's the Thomas that comes with the Steelworks stunt set. It's a very nice Thomas. I can get it to focus. Here's some focus happening. There we go. So it comes with this really nice Thomas. And so I'll try it on the original stunt set first. So put Thomas in here. Put him the right way. So he's in there. Now if we bring him up. I'm going to set him for this side. He gets stuck because of these grooves. And you, have to you have to push him around to get him to the bottom and he doesn't even get down to the bottom. Yeah. So if I turn this... Oh. 
I'm going to keep that in. Um, as you can see here, if you look at these pieces here, they're just one long rail. Whereas if we look on the Steelworks Stunt CX, they've actually changed that a little bit. You've still got the main line, but they've added these extra, what do you call them, connections. And it really affects the way that the trains play on these. So you just saw how this Thomas went on that. Let's try it on here. So put Thomas in and turn the crank. I've got it set to the right way. Not yet, I don't, but I wish to get Thomas up there. There he is. Hello, Thomas. And this is what happens. All the way down. Let's have another look at that. So it actually works rather well. Now what I will do is I'll also try it on this set on the long one here. I'm not going to bother winding it up so just place Thomas there and firstly can't even get on there and he just barely makes it across there. And now if we go to this one, set the bridge right. This one actually is a little bit harder to crank than that one there is, so it's quite interesting. And he makes it through with flying colours. Well there's a nice close look at the steelworks, it's blue, okay. And that there kind of reminds me of the Journey Beyond Sodor logo. But it kind of looks like bubbles coming out of the steelworks, which I'm not quite sure is going on there. And then we've got the stickers that I have applied. You have to apply these yourself. But they really add to the playset. And something else that is different compared to this one is up here you've got little areas for your minis to, you know, just hang out, chilling out. I'm using the Power Rangers minis at the moment because all my other minis are in there or over there. But yeah, you could put your minis up here and they could just have a good old time. Whereas on the new one, we actually have a turntable. Now something that when I saw on the box, I thought this turntable was going to be powered by the crank down here, the one that takes the engines up their way into the tower. But no, it is simply a manual turn thing. You have to manually spin it. And I was actually a little bit disappointed in that. I thought it was going to be powered by that. And as your trains come up, you could watch another train spinning up here. But that is not the case. So, just a little bit disappointing that they could have done something there and didn't. But the turntable does look very nice and it does spin right around and it actually takes a fair bit to get these minis, well, without knocking the seats. It actually takes quite a bit to spin these minis out. go. So sure it's fun to play with just your one Thomas but I'm going to be a bit daredevilish here and I'm going to add on the four new Power Rangers minis that I recently found. So there's one, two, oh, that one's connected, three and four and I'm going to send them down the spirals. So, let's get rid of this. This is not the set that we're talking about.
Now here is the exclusive Thomas that comes in the Steelworks stunt set. Remember the last exclusive stunt set, well being the original one that I had, um, came with a Percy. This one I feel is the more superior one. It's got transparent red wheels. I'm guessing that means that his wheels are glowing because they're really hot. And he's all scraped up and he's got sparks on him. Very nice. He's got a grubby face. But yes, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But also, I really like this. They have fixed the flaws with the original stunt set. And I feel like this one is a more superior one. Um, I do know that you can get the same alliteration of this with the Mini's Batcave set, I believe. But I feel like this was the more superior one. It has a theme around the Steamworks being related to... and uh, not Steamworks, the Steelworks, sorry. Um, that relates back to Junior Beyond Sodor. And I only paid $40 for this. New Zealand has just had a really big price drop with their Thomas toys. And it's really good. So let me know what you guys think of this set. Do you like it? Do you have it? Would you buy it? Um, it's a great addition if you're a minis collector. And I am. I love the Thomas minis. But unfortunately, I have to end it there, guys. So if you like this video, please remember to leave a comment. If you liked the video, then leave a, uh, like, leave a like. And if you're new here and you like this content, please subscribe and ding the bell so you know that um, when I have new content coming out. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.